everyone, this is Charlotte. In the last video, we introduced the process commonly used in producing plastic products, what we call injection molding. So, which process is generally used during making metal products? Today, we're going to talk about die casting, one of the most common process for making metal products. Die casting is a technology by injecting molten or semi molten metals, such as aluminum, zinc, into a metal mold at high speed and high pressure. In this video, we can see their four detailed steps. The first step is to prepare the die. Spray the mold cavity with the lubricants. After lubrication, the die is ready for use. Then close the mold. The second step is to fill the mold. After you closing the mold, molten metal is injected into the die under high pressure. As the liquid metal rapidly cools, the high pressure condition will be maintained. The third step is cooling, waiting for quick cooling. Then the final step is ejection. Open the dies and eject each metal part when the mold is cooled. Why do so many suppliers choose die casting manufacturing? For its high productivity, high casting precision, small surface roughness, easy to make embedded casting parts, etc. However, this technology do have some weaknesses. For example, if your temperature setting works poorly, it is easy to crack pores, and die casting molds are complex with a long production cycle. Die casting is mainly used for mass producing alloy castings. It is mainly used to manufacture automobiles, tractors, instruments, and electronic instruments. I hope this video could answer your question about the product development process. It is also common for people to ask about the difference between stamping and die casting. So next time, we'll explain what actual differences are. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will provide you with more production informations.